All right. Said I'd be back. Let's see if anybody shows up. Anybody out there? Uh, yeah, sorry I missed last night. Let's see what happens tonight. Let's see if anybody shows up. Who's out there? Who's bored? Who wants to hang? Who wants to get their mix reviewed? Hey, Robin Legion. How's it going? Wimpy. How, how's it going, dude? Hey, Johnny Fat Sacks, Alan Garcia, PPN, Sheldon McDonald. How's everybody doing tonight? Okay, we're just hanging out. Hopefully get this kick kick this thing in the into high gear here in a minute here. Wow, a whole bunch of you guys just jumped in. Like, damn, that was quick. Uh, I searched your channel as soon as you went live. Okay, cool. Uh, Cody Osborne Hoover, uh, feeling better. Yes, yes, doing better than I was last night. Yo, you, your Satan manifested in the flesh. Satan isn't real. It's only a fucking story to tell school children to get them to behave. Well, and it works on adults too. <laughs> no, we're not doing mixed reviews every night. Uh, John Gandalf, go fuck yourself. Uh, Lee Brewer, how's it going here? Wow, we've got a few people in here. Cool. Fader Monkey video was funny. Yeah, not very many people watched it, though, which really sucked because that was a very funny video. Hey, Humbucker. Yes, there's the script writer right there, Humbucker Chronicles. Hey, Humbucker Chronicles. Thanks so much for uh, for that amazing script today. Too bad not very many people watched it. Oh, well. Uh, Going to be an interesting video Tuesday, I think. Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to be taking a look at an Ernie Ball guitar, the John Petrucci 100, which uh, sucks ass, actually. It's a terrible fucking instrument. And um, hey, my five, glad you like that. But yeah, you guys are going to want to see that because Ernie Ball screwed the pooch and uh, they need to be, you guys need to be warned about buying one of those fucking things. It's a terrible fucking guitar. Probably one of the worst guitars I've ever had on the show. Too bad I fucking borrowed it because I couldn't smash it. Hey, Optic Nerve, I uh, like today's video. Nice job on the script. Okay, cool, yeah. Anyway, hopefully, yeah, um, let's see what's going on here. Man, just making sure everything's working? No, it's not. Hang on. Yes, okay, still get my shit again. Send me a fucking link, I'll play a song. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, what's up? Uh, glad you guys enjoyed today's video. That's cool. Uh, yes, now I'm in focus correctly. Uh, what's up? Uh, where's my fucking stream deck? Hold on a second. Just check, make sure everything's working here. Yep, all right. Love that song. It's just so musical. Yep. Okay. Stream Deck's working correctly. Great. We've got uh, everything's ready to go here. Ready to stand forth and be judged. Send me your fucking mixes. Uh, yeah. Hey, by the way, we got a special tonight. Um, we only got a $10 minimum today. I just figured, hey, let's see what happens. See how many more people we can get in here uh, to fucking... Uh to see what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, hey, Robert, I'm glad you're enjoying the new editing stuff. I wanted to try something with two cameras, just see if it would do anything. It was kind of neat. Uh, good show, Ernie Ball. Screwing the pooch is a kick in the shin. Kids the price you pay. Don't want to be the same boat as Gibson. All right. Well, this was Ernie Ball's cheap model, the JP100. It was the Sterling model made in Indonesia. And yeah, it, it, uh, it shaved its ass. Yes, $10 minimum tonight. I thought I'd try something a little different. Hopefully get a few more people in the queue. Uh, once again, 35 will get to the top of the queue. 50 will get to the very, very, very front. But, uh, yeah, get in while you can because it's not going to stay this cheap forever. JST Maximizer Review. Yeah, maybe at some point. Sure, I got a bunch of shit I need to review. Uh, hey, Glenn, you going to go see Priest in Detroit? They played last Saturday. <laughs> in Detroit and I missed that so unless they're doing another show um, I don't think so so I'm kind of kicking myself for that but tell you if nobody fucking sends me anything it's going to be the shortest <laughs> for all Petrucci talks about how careful the QSC is on those guitars okay, I'm surprised yeah Sheldon McDonald so was I uh, yeah the quality control on that was fucking absolute dog shit 
and I can show you why what happened and what I had to do and fucking uh, what to fix. Let's put it this way. The nut was badly cut, and the first string um, has a real hard time staying on the fretboard. And it's not just it's just not just the nut. The trim was too wide for the neck as well. All right. Anyway, I always think about the Howard Benson vocal plug. I never tried it. Hey, you're up, Psycho Delico. Let's uh, get some fucking mix reviews on the go here. Let's see what we got. We've got, uh, uh, love your videos, man. Like, so you think our first single. Okay, let's check it out. Here goes Psycho Delico. And it's how long? 227. There we go. Uh, you're very welcome there, Swift to the film. Hey, Shoals Official, there we go. Thank you so much. You are next on the queue. The end There's a little have come. Death will be known. I'm the only one. Ah, uh, vocal lessons are definitely needed here. Somebody's very straining. The bass tone's nice, but damn, those vocals kind of kill it. I'm the one to blame. I'm not the one to blame. You know, a little bit more baritone. God will cry. They watch as we die. Just you and I. The end of Okay, vocals are at a good level here, but the snare's just too loud, kind of all part of the guitar. Here, we can turn that up a bit. There we go. You've got the screaming part right, but the singing, you definitely need some lessons, dude. like the toms once again this drum mix is in mono why is the drum mix in mono somebody fucking put the overheads down the center Okay, so somebody wasn't paying attention there when they were mixing that and mixed the fucking drums in mono. Not sure what the deal was there. Uh, but yeah, somebody definitely fucked up. It sounded like a real drum set. Uh, just the toms kind of gave it away there. Uh, yeah, so you might want to pan those overheads out. That would be a big start. Bring the guitars up a little bit. Maybe bring the snare down just a touch as well. Uh, okay, isomatic, looking forward to it. Yeah, wasn't too bad, but yeah, your singer needs some vocal lessons. He needs to learn how to sing. The screaming part, no problem. He got that, like, no problem at all. But the singing definitely needs some fucking work. Uh, go check out my friend Chris Lipe or stick around to next week uh, when you see what we're releasing with Ty Christian from Lords of the Trident. It's going to be a cool fucking lesson. That's for sure. Anyway, let's uh, let's share this out on the old Zuckerberg hellscape here for a minute here. Um, let's, let's put this out. Let's, hopefully we can get some people showing up tonight. And if not, no big deal. But yeah, let's get going here. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to... Oh, come on. What the fuck? Of course, the Zucker, Zuckerberg Hellscape isn't loading up. So let's try the twits and uh, put one out here. Uh, mm, and boom. Here we go. And there we go. <sighs> Anything on... Okay, there's the Zuckerberg Hellscape. Give me a second here. One moment, please. And three, two, one. Here we go. Bam. Done. Okay. And we're going to get... Hey, Kamanga! Whoa, Kamanga. Thank you so much. Uh, that's completely fucking unnecessary, but thank you so much for, for that. That was... Uh, that's really fucking amazing. Uh, did you actually fucking give me a link? Good evening. No. 
Come on, you just sent me 50 bucks and you didn't send me a link to a, a mix or a song or anything like that. Uh, thank you. I am really grateful for that. Uh, would have been even cooler if you had a fucking, if you had a mix you could send me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Dude, yeah, were you supposed to send me something there? I don't know. I'm very curious about that. Hold on a minute. Okay. So this next one here is Shaded Lane. And that was by. Shoals official. Let's check out what Shaded Lane did. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey there. Uh, come on, I really appreciate it. Okay, what the fuck's going on? Shaded Lane demo. Fucking play, damn it. There we go. Yeah, really. Yeah, don't. Yeah, humbucker. Don't make humbucker submit as crap. I would definitely agree with that sentiment. <music> Snare's a tiny bit buried. Yes, hit that like thumbs up button, by the way, please. It just engages the algorithm. Let's uh, YouTube know that you're out there. Yes, yes, that that's it, Roger, Robin. Yeah, it's uh, ten bucks USD. Yes. Interesting toms. A little bright, but not too bad. Vocals are a little buried. Snare is really thin here. It sounds like you're almost got something out of phase. What's going on with the drums here? Uh, what were they? You know, was this a program of some sort? Calm moments can't last forever, Pantera fan, unless you're, you know, listening to a prog song with an introduction, then it definitely lasts forever. You're up next, dude. Jay Loy, actually, you ju you just uh, jumped the queue in front of Robin. There we go. <laughs> Nathaniel, you're up next. 
You just jumped the queue, buddy. That's how it works here on Spectre Sound. <laughs> he who makes the biggest donation goes first. I do like the bass here, though. Like I said, just something seems a little weird with the fucking drums. Like, it's maybe too much room mic and not enough close mic. Not sure if what's going on with the guitars. They're definitely unique, that's for sure. Not yet, Nuclear Beige. I can, I can always hope. Yeah, you're right there, Lily. This stuff. Okay, just making sure here. Yeah, it's like six and a half minutes. Like, really? Does it need to be that long? Actually, it's almost seven minutes. Fuck six. All right, yeah, we get the idea. Okay, moving on. I, I think I make no guarantees I'm going to play your song all the way through. Uh, you know, just pare it down a little bit. Maybe four minutes instead of seven minutes. You know, because I got a feeling you're just doing the same thing one more time. We go around yet again. Let me guess, you're going to bring it down again, then bring it up again? We already heard that part. Unless you're doing something else, you know, don't fucking bore us to death. <sighs> E. Urban, I have a feeling you're being uh, unnecessarily generous with with your own fucking uh, with your own abilities there. <laughs> All right. So next up, uh, we've got Nathaniel. This is uh, the first and only time I ever would submit something that isn't metal. Just wanted to support the show. Okay. Well, Nathaniel, thank you so much. This one's uh, 15 minutes. Oh yeah, this is Power Synth. Yeah, well, I'm not playing 15 minutes, dude. But we'll take a listen for about three and see what we get. 15 fucking minutes long. Really? Jackson Axe, whose comment was unfair? Yeah, here's the thing. Pink Floyd didn't start doing 15-minute epics till they got to their third or fourth record. They had already established a fan base. They can get away with it. If you're just trying to get fucking noticed, 15-minute uh, epics are definitely not the way to do it. I just usually use a, a little, just, I usually leave my stuff dry there, Matthias. I might try adding some room IRs at some point. Okay, somebody wake me up when it's done. And why is this in mono? Okay, yeah, okay, we get the introduction. Yeah, let's go to like three minutes. Oh, it's the same thing. Go get a coffee. I already got one, or I would go get one. Okay, that's three minutes. Let's see what happens at five minutes. Okay, it's a little different here. I don't think this pleases anybody, maybe except the guy who recorded it. Okay, let's move it to seven minutes. Take you seven minutes to move the song somewhere. Hey, Cody Hoover, you are up next, buddy. Thank you so much. Hopefully we get a rock song here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And, uh... Dead Z-style guitar model. Yes, Vinyl Gator, thank you so much. Thank you guys for fucking rescuing this show. They are all going to die of boredom here in a minute. <sighs> okay, moving on to 10 minutes. All right, that's 
That's it for that shit. Okay. Sorry, man. Okay, a monosynth track where you just like do a 15-minute jerk-off session. No, not cool. Write a fucking song. That's just loops going on endlessly. And what like, okay, if your aim was to bore the audience to death, congratulations, you succeeded. <sighs> Here's a, here's a suggestion. First off, you know, pan your synths out in stereo so we can hear stuff popping around and all that kind of stuff. Usually that's going to work a little bit better. Don't mix everything to mono. That somehow you got that fucking that that got by you. Stereo is a thing. <sighs> that and write a song. Here's what you I want you to do. I want you to take that idea, re-record it in stereo, and get it under two minutes. Let's see if you can do that. See if you can write something catchy in two minutes. Then and only then you should start expanding your shit. See if you can do something in two minutes and say what you need to say in two minutes. That would be fucking cool. All right. So uh just checking here. We had Cody Hoover. Oh, Harris, uh, thank you so much. You're in the queue as well, bud. Thank you so much. But just making sure we had, yeah, that was Nathaniel. Nathaniel, I do appreciate the donation to the show, though. Once again, all that stuff just comes right back onto the show. Um, I'm going to be looking at some more single cuts. We're probably going to check out an LTD and um, and, an, and an Epiphone as well, just to see who's got the best one and uh, see how that goes. So all that stuff's just getting funded right back into the show so I can give you guys some honest guitar reviews. Uh, next up, uh, we've got... Cody Hoover, guitar synth tone with Fishman triple play. Hey, I got one of those. They're great. Went for a Dead Z guitar synth using distorted fuzz, saw wave, mix with dark vocals, song lower vocals, no scream. Well, you know what the mix sounds. Okay, Cody, great. This sounds like an actual fucking song, and it's three minutes, 23 seconds. Sounds like it might be done tastefully. Let's see what we get here. Hey there, Benji. Thank you so much. It's very quiet. Scholz, we had an extra two minutes there. I was looking at the timer thing. It said it was going on for two minutes. It's like, come on, man. Jeez. Get to the point. I'm sorry if you don't approve of my... Okay, hang on. I'm just going to stop this for a second. I'm sorry if you don't approve of what I'm saying, and that's fine. We can disagree. Don't take it personally. Don't think I'm trying to insult you. I am trying to help. And my first suggestion would be pare it down and get to the point a little bit more. I'm not trying to be unfair. I'm just trying to explain to you. Not everybody has seven minutes to check out your song. Try not being so self-indulgent with your music and try appealing more to a mass audience because everybody's competing for attention these days. Everybody. So what do you got to say? You better say it right out from the get-go because there's everything else is competing with you and your band. Yeah. You can take that however you like. Like I said, it's not meant to be insulting. It's meant to be helpful. Anyway, back here we go. I need just need to turn this up. Actually, this sounds pretty good when you turn it up. Okay, here we go. Scholz isn't going to let this one go. I wasn't being self-indulgent. If you cut it short, it's one thing. Say it needs to be a shorter song is unfair. It's our song. Yes, it is your song. Is anybody else going to want to listen to it? Did you ask yourself that question? Hold on a second here. Since since you want to make a big deal about it, let's take a look here. Uh, and I believe me, I really do appreciate this. Okay, you just sent me a download, or I, I checked the download stats on this. But that's the question you need to ask yourself. Okay, are we making this music for ourselves, or are we making this for an audience? If you're making it for an audience, yes, then my opinion's valid. If you're just making it for yourself, then you don't need my opinion, do you? Sorry about that, uh, Cody. I am kind of digging this one.
No, I listen to all kinds of music on this show. All, I welcome all times of music. We've had all kinds of stuff on here. Now, this piece of music is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, like I said, I make no guarantee I'm going to play your song all the way through. It says that right in the video description. Don't tell me you weren't fucking warned. This was kind of neat, honestly, with the guitar synth. I thought it was kind of neat. The vocals were weird, but it worked. Honestly, I liked the mix. It was just a little quiet. So run some ozone on it, get it to about 12 or 10 lops, somewhere around there, and you're probably going to really like the results you get. When you turn that up, it actually sounded really fucking good. Just make sure you don't crush the dynamics when you turn it up. But that was a pretty banging mix. I liked what you were doing with the synth. It was fucking weird. It was out there, and it was fucking cool. All right, John Lent. Okay, there's somebody who knows how to write a fucking song. Now, okay, here. Just just for this. Oh, hey, John. You, uh, um, hey, dude. I hate to do this, dude. Check it out, bro. Uh, that's that's your link you sent me. This video isn't available anymore. Uh, John, yeah, sorry about that, bro. Appreciate it if you could treat this cover. A struggle with the acoustic guitar on, on only song mixing. Um, okay, well, here's my critique. Mix is a little buried. <sighs> okay, seriously, going back to Shoals here. Okay, yeah, he sent me that Google Drive link. Okay, yeah, Shaded Lane. His wasn't like the 15-minute song thing. Here, we got another fucking minute and a half of this song. Okay, just to make him happy. Let's fucking pull that up. Here, we'll play the last minute and a half. Just so he knows I gave him a fair shake. Well, this has certainly got my attention. Well, thank you, Nathaniel. That's great. Like I said, I'd say pare it down to two minutes and put it in stereo. That would be your first bet. Again, Schultz, I'm more and more interested in what's going on with your drum sound here. Why does it sound like something's out of phase? Like, did, did you, what, what, uh, what drum package did you use here? Because the snare sounds like it's almost got the overheads working against it. Really? Oh, okay, it must be 15. I thought it was 10, man. I thought I changed it up. Sorry. Well, Schultz, um, hey, I'm trying to help, man. <laughs> but again, again, it goes on and on and on and on and on. I am starting a bit. I am trying to pr provide some constructive feedback here. I'm not saying it's terrible. I don't think it's terrible at all. I'm more concerned what's going on with the drum mix, and maybe they could pare it down a little bit and fucking make it a little bit more palatable to a wider audience. That's all I'm saying. I think your core idea is good. It just doesn't need to be that long. Again, if that's not what you wanted to hear, I apologize. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm trying to be helpful. Hopefully you get that. 
Anyway, I need to move on here. Thank, thanks so much for your support, though. I do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, take a look what's going on with your drum mix. Maybe uh, do a mono check on that. Like, if you go to your master fader, hit the mono button, hear what goes on, see if your drums are kind of falling apart, and try flipping the polarity button on your snare and see if you get more bottom end coming out of it that way because it definitely sounds like you've got a phase issue. Hopefully that helps, man. Anyway, thanks again. Moving on. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that was Scholes. Scholes, I do appreciate the fucking support. Uh, yeah, John Lent. Oh, I'll try and you know, see what the hell happened to your track there. Uh, we had Vinyl Gator, Cody Hoover, who I listened to, and that was really cool. I really dug that song. Uh, love what you did there. Jay Loy. Okay, what do we got here? We got, yeah, Scholes, Psychedelic. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is... Uh, this is Robin Legion with uh, Okay, it's black metal. It's five minutes long. Again, no guarantees. I'm going to play the whole thing. Okay, this sounds pretty cool. Yes, of course. I want to see it. I want to help everybody the best I can and help them do better. Why is this mix so fucking quiet, Robin? Speak up, Sonny. We can't hear you. You're supposed to be black belt. supposed to be fucking loud. This is like, sounds like he's been playing on the car, on the fucking home stereo three, three houses over from me. It does sound pretty good, though. <laughs> Drums are wicked. Bass is wicked. Cool fucking mix, dude. Is that vocalist cupping the mic? Is he doing this? Yeah, the drummer was insane, but apparently the mastering engineer was out to lunch that day. It was too busy flinging his poop around the, the room. I'll be right back. Give me one sec. We're going to let this jam out for a moment. Gotta admit, this is a really badass mix. Cabs Hills, you can submit a link in the video description via Streamlabs. 15 will get you in the in the queue, 35 will get you in the front of the queue, 50 will get you to the very top. All everything you guys donate to the show just gets put right back into it. Ooh, nice toms. Uh, Infinity asks how much he has to donate. Arm, leg, firstborn son, you know, one million dollars. Actually, sneak peek, this is my new pedal right here. It's uh, done with Rev. <laughs> More on that next week.
What about 150? Yes, I will take my shirt off for 150. Just somebody needs to do it. Yeah, I got some sleep and it worked all day, actually. This is fucking great. I got to say, I think we got a banger here. Bull fucking shit, cabs. Thirty-three dollars won't pay rent for ten seconds anywhere in the world these days. All right. Well, fucking done, Robin. Great mix. Just turn it the fuck up, please. Um, I put a link to that in today's bangers, but I can't fucking spell it, so it's just uh, put as uh, some random black metal band I can't pronounce. But it sounded fucking good. I, I think you got you nailed it. You guys really had a wonderful mix going on there. It was just too fucking quiet. Hey, Drathko, I really appreciate it. Yeah, yesterday, like I said, I was just feeling a little bit, uh, a little shitty. Actually, I had a really busy day today. I did uh, I did my uh, review on the Petrucci JP100 Sterling from Ernie Ball, and it sucked royal ass. What a fucking piece of shit that guitar was. Um, my recommendation on that video is, uh, yeah, buy a Harley Benton instead. It's going to be a better guitar. <laughs> yeah, Ernie Ball really fucked up badly on that. Uh, and then I did like four viewers' comments. I even managed to edit one, too. So I had a busy fucking day and then i jump into this video to do this and hang out with you guys so yeah it's been quite the night uh yeah yes really yes it really sucks oh you do have one yeah it's it's a fucking terrible guitar it's the worst guitar i've ever had on the show infinity what just what just send me infinity let's see uh 15 well thank you infinity you're in the queue um, like I said, I'm just kind of going through everything. It, 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 nope. No, not yet. Not yet. People have had other people waiting. Much appreciated though. Uh, let me see. I know Jay Loy sent me something. Oh God. So, prog song incoming lol mix. I did years ago with my old band. I'm on co cookie on vocals. Okay. That's soundclick.com. Yeah. That's the flither song, isn't it? Let's see here. Yeah. That's flither by Jay Loy. Let's see. What we got drama queen by flither. Let's see what we got here. It's Prague. Hooray. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Snare's a little thin, though. Yes, Rod Flying V, the Petrucci guitar is the worst I've ever had on the show. It's terrible. Not yet, Bobberts. Interesting guitar sound. I like it. The snare is just a little thin and a little loud. Very loud compared to the kick, that's for sure. Yes, JB, the, the fucking Petrucci Music Man, the Sterling version, that is, the Made in Indonesia version, is the worst guitar I have ever reviewed on this show. I love the guitars. Hey, Jesse Bubuko, thank you so much. You're in the queue, buddy. It's very got a very old school death metal guitar sound on here. Hey, Cletus! Oh, wow, you just jumped the queue, pal. Oh, did somebody fucking... Uh... Okay, I was hoping for a vocal. See, this slams. Just turn the fucking snare down, drum down. You've got lead snare here. And I'm just saying, take it down to DB or two, but the bass sounds great. The guitar sounds great. The vocal's sitting in the right spot. Everything's on point, except for that fucking snare. It's like you let Lars mix it here or something. 
In Christ we trust. Oh, okay, Kalita's Christ. Yes, okay, good point. I'm going to say Jesus, eh, maybe not so much. Fucker hasn't been around for 2,000 years. Went out for drinks, never came back. I don't know. I've never heard of Rockville. What do they make? Uh, tonight's episode is brought to you by Icebreaker's Sugar-Free Mints. Uh, it's the one candy I can have being on keto, and they're not half bad. No, definitely not a sponsor. Yeah, like, listen to that. The snare is so much louder than the vocal. Ooh, ER guy, thank you so much. Post Punk, my band. Okay, you're in the queue, man. Cletus is going first because he was nice enough to send 35. Thank you, dude. Ow, oh, okay, so I'm going to m- drop the minimum down to 10 here and uh, see if we can get some more people in the queue. Yeah, I forgot to save it last time. Sorry about that. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Got a $10 minimum right now. If you want to get in the queue, I'm going to have that open at 10 for just the next little bit. We're going to have a special on here for like the next, uh, let's say, uh, 20 minutes or so. Camel Current, thanks so much for being part of the show. Hey, guitars, slick. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, thank you so much, Jacob Tonello. Um, yeah, I'm married though, dude. Sorry. <laughs> to a woman. <laughs> All right. I think we had a bit of a banger there as well. Not bad. I like the track. Love the guitar sound. Really cool. Just let me, let me, let me share, share that here. Hold on a second here. And I'm going to put that. Oh, Gilbert Spader became a member. Well, thank you, Gilbert Spader. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for being part of the show. And let's see what we got here. Hold the fuck on. Let me find Jay Lloyd. John Lynn. Hey, man, I need a better. I need a fucking link to your song, dude. It still says that video isn't available anymore. John Lynn, if you're watching, please get me the fucking uh, get me the link to the song. You know how to do it. You've seen the show enough fucking times. I really want to hear it. Uh, let me see here. Jay Loy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Jay, you got a bit of a banger there. So let's throw this in here. And Flither. I really like that track. Actually, that was uh, very well, nicely done. And it didn't copy the goddamn link here. Hold on a second. Sound click. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And one damn minute here. Okay, and boom. There we go. Cool. All righty then. Uh, yeah, once again, right now we've got a little special on. Uh, if you want to get in, you can get in on the queue for only 10 bucks. Uh, just because, you know, we're going to be here for the next couple hours. And I want to hear your song. I don't guarantee I'm going to play it all the way through. I don't guarantee you're going to like what I have to say about it. The point of this show is to not kiss your ass, but to help oh, offer helpful advice and help you get better at what you do. Anyway, the next uh, wonderful person to jump the queue was Mr. Cletus Christ. Uh, he's a, definitely a fan favorite on this fucking show. 
Uh, I really love the music this guy makes because it's just so fucking different from everything else being made, but we've all heard this kind of thing before as well. And set up by Marshall. Thank you so much. Here we go. This is the Solar King. It's the third time we played this song in the last couple days. It's fucking amazing. Here we go. Crank this motherfucker up! Angelic Slayer, just in time. With the fear of the sky and the stars in his eyes and the planets aligned as he looked up and he felt electrified. His body was taken in a cosmic haze and it was out of phase with his mind. Goosebumps. He was alive. Again, I think the main vocal is just a tiny bit too quiet and the snare is a little bit too loud. Spinning faster and faster around. Blasting beers in his way. Way a bam, thank you, man. It was only a matter of time. The show is over. The King. Cletus, what are you? to get that guitar tone I'm really curious Thunders crash in a radial smash you've been shattered broken splintered what a shame uh, Karen that's that's programmed drums believe it or not that's not a real kit No, I mean the amp. What was the amp being used on the guitar tracks here? Freaky underwear. Thank you so much. You're up next. Lady GH50L at a Marshall Origin 20. What the fuck is a Marshall Origin 20? Okay. Okay, cool. No, that's programmed drums, if I'm correct there. Somebody says, well, I love this. It's played by humans. No, as I, as I recall, Cletus actually programs his drums, but he makes them sound really fucking old school, and that's what I really, really like about this. Are YouTube lakes acceptable? Of course, they're quad guys. Sigh. Yes, they are. Uh, review your mix on Streamlabs. Is, what? Great out. What do you mean? Uh, Cabs Hills, try a different link. Um, let me take a look here. Uh, what's going on here? I'm just make sure we've got the fucking uh, right thing here. You know, you can try a private private browsing window. That might work. Uh, let's see what we got. Let me uh, just paste in here. Streamlabs cons. Yeah. Okay. Review your mix. Yep. Okay. See. Hey, Jay. Jay just donated. That worked. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, you're in the queue there, bud. Thank you. 
Um, you're going to be at like the last uh, on the fucking queue for a while. But yeah, I appreciate it. Once again, we got that $10 special on right now. So if you want to get in, now's the time. We're going to be doing that for the next 11 minutes or something like that. So if, yeah, you want to get in on the queue, now's the time. Uh, anyway, Freaky Underwear, you're up next. Um, I can't fucking pronounce your name. Uh, the song is called Ulf Hedlar. Okay. Bye. Oh, verified old artist Olfenard. Okay. Um, oh, Cabs Hills sent me eleven. Thank you, Cabs. Yeah, see, you got it working. Perfect. Done. Done and done. You're in the fucking queue. All right. Cool. And let's see here. Let's go on here. Yeah. Again, just moving everything around. Uh, Cletus, wicked track, man. I love the fucking song. Uh, I would love to get um, get Jackson Ward playing drums on a few of your tracks. We are going to make this happen. I still have your 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 uh, your tracks to zombies. I'm going to do that one night, probably in December. Um, I really got to talk to a drummer friend of mine, see if I can get him to. Maybe we'll do drums in here. I'm talking with a good buddy buddy of mine. He goes by the stage name Chrissy Sticks because he used to play in a Motley Crue tribute band. And the guy is definitely from the Tommy Lee school of drumming, and that's absolutely fine. Tommy Lee uh, might not be the world's greatest human being, but the guy can certainly play fucking drums, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, Chris is a fucking fantastic drummer. Uh, we're talking about getting him in here on the show. Maybe we can have him play on that. That might actually be very good. Um, <laughs> okay, well, thanks there, Lauren Lambert. Much appreciated. Uh, I don't know about e-kit. Uh, hopefully I'll be tracking the live drones myself soon. Got to get the treatment onto the walls. Yeah, that'll work. Get the best mics you possibly can as well. Uh, Ulfendar, what am I fucking playing? Did you actually give me a song title here? Uh, what do we got here? The song is called Obliteration. Okay, we did get a song title. Five minutes, 34 seconds. See, not seven minutes, not six minutes. Five and a half! That's about the longest I want to hear a fucking song for, and I'm still not guaranteeing I'm going to play the thing all the way through! Hear my command. Cookie, give me cookie. Chaos, death, fire, and destruction across the lands and beyond the seas. <laughs> My time has come to bring the end of all life across the nine realms. Jason Bourne, thank you so much. Solid Jason Bourne, whatever. The reign of the Asire. Much appreciated, dude. Golden holes. Just a donation. You fucking rule, buddy. My flames. Was spread across the Oh Quad Guy Sai, thank you so much. Annihilated. Now Can you pair my two tracks? Oh come on man. Odd Rage, you're in as well. Why not? Now is the time for all You want me to compare two mixes? Fuck six, Quad Guy Sai. I'll see what I can do. No guarantees. Well, it only took you about a minute to actually get to the song, so that helps. All right, working on the bots. Give me a minute here. Okay, this is slamming here. Why did you just do this to begin with? Did we really need the Cookie Monster intro? Yeah, this is a nice mix. Sounds very good. We've come to bring death and this Just watch your extreme low end on that guitar over there. It's it's a little bit muddy. I would agree, maybe a bit more mid-range, but it's nice. Yes, the guy's supposed to incarnate Surtur, the god of fire. Okay, right now he's a, 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 a... What's the word? Incarnate? Yes, right now he's incarnating Cookie, the lord of cookies. <laughs> no, I, I did that wrong. Fuck, hang on. Right now, yes, he's a, he's a, incarnating the Muppet Cookie Monster, lord of all cookies. Like, if you guys killed that intro, it'd be a lot better, but that video, that'd be getting just so fucking hysterical. It's a wonderful mix, though. I think we got a banger here. Yeah. 
Cletus is right. That snare is just ripping. The whole mix is great. I really like it. Just lose the intro. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. Unintentionally hilarious. That's nice. Nice bass tone too. Really wonderful mix. Nice, Tom. Wow. I've never heard toms like that. That's a really wonderful job. What the fuck did you guys do there? Sounds incredible. Now, I just want to make a point there. For the guy who got butt hurt uh, earlier that I cut his song off because I didn't want to listen to seven minutes, let's say you do five and a half minutes and make it interesting. And even then, they could still drop the first minute and not lose any impact from the song at all. But it wouldn't be as funny. You're absolutely right. Tom's made me want to blacksmith something. Yeah, that was great. Okay. Wow. That was fucking killer, guys. Um, The only suggestion I have is don't change anything about the mix except lose that ridiculous intro. That was hysterical. It's like... That went on for a full minute. Okay, it's like a um, great example of a, how to do a fucking intro and make it interesting is go put on, you know, Motley Crue's Shout at the Devil and listen to In the Beginning. How long is that? Maybe 30 seconds, if that. Gets to the fucking point and then bam, you're right in there. This went on and on and on and on. And like I said, I just, the guy's talking in this ridiculous voice and all I can see is the fucking Muppets in my mind. Yo, cookie. It's just fucking hilarious unintentionally hilarious other than that beautiful fucking track beautiful mix sounded wonderful whatever you're doing keep doing it just try and have a sense of taste <laughs> tragic forbes you are up next dude uh thank you so much uh yeah quad guy saw you'll probably be up after that uh we've got a hell of a queue here and we've still got a little bit of a special going on for ten dollar submissions right now we're going to keep that open for the next a little bit anyway next up we got tragic forms with dk inside oh yeah there we go good death metal sounds if you guys know your 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 strong bad got to use the de sounds like dk destroy and de laos here we go Ooh, i like this too Spawn Shepard, thank you so much. You're in the queue. You might be waiting a little while, but uh, let's throw it up. Let's see what we do here. I like this. Kicks maybe a touch on the loud side. But it's got a lot of bottom. <laughs> Delightful teeth like Ooh. Nice vocal. Is this guy too close on the mic? Guy's got a good voice, though. 
Just seems like the the top end is missing from the vocal. Is he cupping the mic? Is he doing this when he's singing? Why did you slap the guy? Yeah, if you like this track, hit the fucking like button, you bastards. Yeah, this is just slamming. What's going on with the guitars? Would love to know, you know, what you used on that. It's pretty wicked. No, I have not, uh, Heavy Pizza. Tragic Forms, man, come on, share with the class. What'd you guys use on the guitars? What'd you use on the drums? We want to learn here. Yeah, the bass, that might be one of the bass, bass drums we've ever had on the show. What's going on? We want to know. Sorry, I just re- reached out to John Linton there, who sent me a bad link. Dude, I just emailed you. Send me a fucking link, John Linton. I'll be happy to play it. Now, what's fucking playing next year? Okay, that was DK Inside. Yeah, give me a minute here. I'm going to jump on that in just a sec. That was fucking slamming. That was really fucking great shit, man. Wow. I'm really blown away. That was really quite fantastic. Nicely done. Super impressed. Take a bow. Uh, yeah, and most importantly... 
Yeah, great job. That made the bangers list. So that's uh, Tragic Forms with ZK inside. Hold on a sec. I'm going to, like I said, I'm just adding that in here. Tragic Forms, I hope you definitely fucking sent us something here in terms of what the hell you're using on guitars because that was great. You guys want to check that song out? I'd highly recommend it because that was killer. That's going in the bangers list right now. Wow, what a fucking track. That was great. And of course, the damn link didn't copy correctly. Fuck's sakes. Here we go. Tragic Forms. God. Oh, hang on. Copy link address. There we go. Hopefully this time they'll fucking paste the damn thing. There we go. Okay, it is in the bangers list. Tragic Forms, seriously, share with the class. That was fucking great. Um, that was wonderfully done. I don't really have too much to add to that. I'm just kind of jealous, honestly. I wish I could get my mixes to sound that good. <sighs> oh, this is a stream deck. See, it does this. Glenn, I need to make a bangers list on Spotify. Yeah, you know what? If I had fucking extra time, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, you need a quarterly show where I play the bangers. Yeah, that would probably work too. I should totally do that. Hmm, I should do that. The best of, you know, thing. I know Cletus would be on that quite a bit. John Linton would probably be on there a little bit too. Yeah, we got a lot of bands that would be on there quite a bit. All right, now we've had some guys waiting in the queue for a little while. So we're out of 35, so I'm just going to start going through a bunch of them. Like uh, Mountainside Blues by About Time or About Time by Mountainside Blues. I don't fucking know. Um, one or the other. Let's see what we get here. thousand dollars to get your song on the bangers list yeah i don't think so somebody wants to send me a thousand bucks though i'm not going to complain almost sounds like the guitars are recorded on the back of the amp i could be wrong here am i wrong you guys tell me Yeah, the vocals are great though. Snare's a little thin. Hey Cletus, you can find the Knopf stuff. It's a little cheaper and does the exact same thing. K-N-A-U-F. Strong stereo usage. Yes, you're right, Shadow Remy, and it sounds good. Yes, yeah, Spawn Shepard, it's in the video description. All you gotta do is click that and go through the list. It might be a lack of an IR. Like I said, it sounds like it's recorded out of the back of an amp, so. That's why it sounds so thin. But the fact that there's not a lot of distortion makes it palatable. Okay, Cabs Hills, yeah, you'll get played, man. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend using an impulse response. Highly recommend the one available at Spectre Digital. Actually, there's a link in the description. It's the new 2022 Vintage 30, and it sounds fucking killer. Okay, just a 57 six inch from the cab, two inches. Well, why does it sound it's direct there, then, Harris? Like the drums, though, actually. Yeah, snare's a little over-tightened. The drummers tend to do that, crank the living shit out of the top skin, and, they, oh, look, it gets pink. No, you just got to play rim shots. I like to hear a little bit more bottom snare, maybe a bit more room mics, but if you're saying that's a mic cab, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, maybe an overdrive pedal in front of the amp might help a little bit, and it'll just sound a little thin. Uh, two inches off center. Really? Wow, because that was pretty thin. Hmm. I don't know. Could just be me. Cool. Then again, what were you using for a speaker? The PV Sheffield's? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah it's uh 
What is this? Hang on. So glad you didn't you didn't forget my shit truck mix. <laughs> <laughs> oh man wow okay great all right uh let's see here yeah we've got a very long queue here what do we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh we have 14 songs in the queue if you don't feel like waiting you want to get your stuff reviewed right now 35 will get to you to the front of the queue or 50 will get you to the very 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 front of the queue but as it stands right now we're just gonna go down the list uh this is uh sonic weapons rat race let's check it out that's a nice snare. That's a nice guitar sound. Whoa, I like this. This is kicking ass. Wow, this rocks. It's very motorhead like. Oh, hey, Poo Ninja! I want to hear this again. Definitely a banger. Was this Vinyl Gator? So far, unreleased song. This is the first time anybody's hearing this. There's no views on this. Yeah, this is it. Dude, you fucking killed it here. Killer bass tri- tone. Wicked, dude. Holy shit. Hey, everybody. I'm Rick Beato. On today's Everything Music. No, no, no. Turn off Rick Beato. What makes this song great? That song was great. We don't need Rick to explain it to us. That song fucking kicked ass. Shit. That was amazing. I want to hear more from you, dude. That was just fucking great. (laughs) Fuck yeah. (laughs) So that link is in the description. The name of the song's called Rat Race, was it? Let me double check that. Uh, Sonic Weapons Rat Race. Dude, when can I get a copy of the CD? That was just so fucking high energy. Seriously, that was awesome. Maybe turn the vocals up just to see here. That's about it. Like, you fucking nailed it. That was fucking great. I absolutely loved every last second of that one. It was great. It was to the point. It was super fucking high energy. That's great fucking songwriting right there. You keep some piercing inches. Great riffs and whatnot, but there was actually a fucking... Yes, I'm old. I talk in CDs. Fuck you guys. But there's actually a coherent idea going on there and something catchy and something I want to listen to again. It doesn't make me want to click off. It makes me want to hear it again. I want to hear more. 
planning on releasing it next year. Uh, vinyl Gator, I, uh, I take it you're, you guys will be putting it out on vinyl? If so, I'd love a vinyl copy, man. Uh, yeah, that was fucking great. Yeah, energy. Yeah, whatever how to make me feel like a slut muffin, says Blake McCreary. Okay, great. He wants it on cassette. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna be on the stream for the next two hours, so. Oh shit. Yeah? Slut muffin. Up, <laughs> up, oh, oh, okay, up. Oh, ah. Even I answered to a higher power. I just got told to make sure I take the fucking garbage out. <sighs> anyway, yes. Uh, my wife loved the comment slut muffin. No, that's that's gonna be a running joke around the house for the next couple weeks. She heard that. But yes. Uh hi to user on the channel. Okay, there we go. Uh anyway. Old CD noobs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that to that track was absolutely fucking incredible. I want to hear more from that band. And yes, if you guys put vinyl out, I would love a copy. Great work, man. Uh, you know what? I think that was radio ready just like that. That was fucking slamming. Oh, man, I love hearing cool stuff from you. Uh, all these new fucking bands and shit like that. This is a great thing, you know. You're interested in hearing what's going to be interesting in music? It's not going to be heard on the fucking radio, that's for sure. You want to hear the cool new shit, what's coming out, what's worth listening to? You're hearing it right fucking here. This is where we find the good stuff. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff and actually find music worth listening to. Imagine that. You remember those days? Fuck, whatever happened to that? Ah, <sighs> anyway, let's uh let's just move it along here. We've got Comfort Me by Curtain Department. Okay. And there's like an anime chick in the fucking artwork, so. Okay, got some serious artifacting going on in the top end. kind of clipping in this like i said sounds like you uh you exported a low bitrate mp3 and then uploaded that to soundcloud because that's what's with all the artifacting going on yes definitely sounds like 92 kilobits per second bear share download fuck bear share wow i totally forgot about that yeah that was a thing at once upon a time was it or kazaa anybody remember kazaa yeah tragic forums yeah you guys fucking slammed slam there man Great fucking mix. What do you guys use on the guitars and drums? Let us know, Tragic Forms. I'd really love to know. Oh, boy. Gojira with four different IRs. Well, it sounded fucking great, dude. Four different IRs. Well, I had to try that sometime. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do a review on Gojira at some time, because that sounds fucking great. MP1. Vocals are a little buried on this, by the way. Hey, good for you, JB. Modern and massive kit. Wow, okay, well, there you go. Just shows what you can do with some desktop software. You get an absolutely slamming mix. Great job there, uh, Tragic Forms. Had me fooled, that's for sure. Hey, more to two. Get to 35 from the 15 earlier. Okay. What did you send earlier, Morta? Great, now you're making me dig. Could have included the fucking link, buddy. Uh, Morta 2, I don't have a link to anything. You said you sent one earlier. I didn't get one earlier. 
Hang on. What the fuck's going on here? Hold on. Where the fuck am I here? Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay, so that was Comfort Me by Curtain Department. Number one, uh, bring the vocals up. Number two, um, yeah, let me see here. Astro Zombies Master. Okay, whoever sent this, thank you for that. We're going to play that in just a sec here. Um, but yeah, it's like turn the vocals up and uh, export your mix at the highest fucking quality possible. Don't like cheap out on small bit rate MP3s because then we get that you know early 2000s uh, Napster sound and that sound. All right, so this is uh, Zombies something or other. Now this sounds like it needs an IR. Astro Zombies Master, whoever did Astro Zombies. Yeah, Morta, you didn't send me anything. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to fucking refund this, man. Because you didn't send me anything earlier. Morta, I appreciate it, but you didn't fucking send me an earlier link. Uh, I didn't get anything, so I just returned your stuff. I just re- I just refunded your, your donation. Cabs Hills, don't worry. Uh, Sun yet uh, didn't list band or whatever. It's Sun Taya Master. Okay. Yes, this needs an impulse response on the guitars. You recorded out of the back of an amp. It sounds like it. That's that fried asshole guitar sound. Sounds like one guitar down the center. You want to do two guitars, pan them out, uh, and uh, there you go. Uh, this is nothing you couldn't cure with the Bogren amp knob, which is basically a plug-in, turn it, and it go, and it works, and it sounds great. I'm going to be doing a crash course in heavy guitar sound, you know, just for everybody who's just starting out who might be a little confused on what to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it for absolutely free and get a great sound. Because this guitar sound is awful, unfortunately. Yeah, an impulse response is basically, uh, I've got lots of neural stuff on my show, Sheldon. Well, Bogren Amp Knob sound like everyone else set up by Marshall Ash. Well, the problem is if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it's a good place to start. The trick is don't stop there. Keep growing. No, it doesn't fit the genre, Wilmer. It's it's badly fucking recorded guitars. Uh, yeah, you need you need an impulse response on those guitars because that sounds like ass. Unfortunately, it's a really easy fix. That's just fucking basically, you know. Sorry, Morta Two should oh his ER guy. Okay, all right. Well, thanks, ER guy. Now I gotta fucking dig your other one up. Uh, let's see here. All right, where are we here? ER guy. Ah, yeah, that does get us over 35. Thank you very much, ER guy. Here we go. You just jumped jumped the queue, and we've got voice memo 13. Here we go. That's a little buried on the vocal. I like the bass tone, that's neat with the chorus on it. It's a little quiet. Yeah, this is like the far future dystopian science fiction epic where the guy's walking down the crowded street. Or cyberpunk. Oh, crap. My friend is our bass player. This is based off his childhood experiences of an abusive father. Suck. Uh, fucking some people just shouldn't have kids. What can I say? Want to hear a bit more kick drum, please? Far from prime, but it's my only respite. 
Yeah, it is a little Joy Division, I would think. The vocals here, though, though that works. I just well, you should bring up the kick drum a little bit, please. My favorite bird, glass. My wife is in here talking shit about your dark wave knowledge, says Cletus. So it's enough to make the memories pass, cause you know I've <laughs> I don't listen to it either. Ha <laughs> ha. Vocals are a little muddy, too. I'm not sure what's going on. It sounds like they're lacking a lot of top end. I like the vibe. I just like it. The vocals could be better recorded. Not sure what you guys use for a vocal mic. Because it's lacking some serious top end. It's like you almost got a blanket in front of the mic or something. Hey, Raja! Links in the description below. 10 bucks will get you in the queue. 35 will get you to the front of the queue. 50 will get you to the very, very, very front of the queue. Right now, there's about 14 songs in the queue, so you might be waiting a while. Fucking porn bots. Uh, Dan TC240, yes, I'm still offering to take my shirt off for 150 Just waiting for somebody to actually do that. You know, I've been trying this for months. Nobody's ever taken me up on it because you guys are a bunch of wusses, that's all. All right, that was Voice Memo 13. Not too bad. I liked it. It was a little dark, a little, 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 uh, little, little depressing. That's fine. Like I said, maybe a little more top end of the vocal would be great. Uh, you know, it, uh, it would probably help, that's for sure. Okay, oh, wow, we got, uh, wow. Somebody really fucking you know went all out with song title on this. We've got 221024 DSM5-03-DK.mp3. So whoever the fuck did this song, great. Here we go. No, uh, Shadow Remy, no, it's me technically getting 150 bucks for taking my shirt off. No sex is happening. <laughs> Too much click on the kick drum, not enough bottom end. Needs a bottom snare mic because we're just hearing, you know, all shell and no fucking rattle off the snares. Yeah, where's the kick drum? Why is this all snare? Would you please drop the drum? Please watch my video, How to Record Heavy Drums. You're going to find a lot of really super helpful information in there, especially when it comes to recording a bass drum. Definitely has that uh, B8 Sybil sound going on. In other words, trash cans. Guitars are really buried too. It's just like everything's buried but the snare. I'm doing good, Garrett. Good. B8 hats for sure. B8, B8 crashes for sure. Those just sound awful.
All right, super proud of the snare. Yeah, I guess. All right, so whoever the hell you were, thanks for that. Uh, you didn't put your band name in the fucking title uh, of the file. All I got was some weird fucking code. So, and I've had so many fucking submissions tonight. It's kind of hard to keep track of who who sent what. Let me see if I can figure out who that was. Uh, what was that? That was a fucking. Uh, what do we got here? No, that wasn't it. Hmm. Oh, was it Cab? Was that Cabs Hills? Let's see. Let's see what that was. Hold on a second here. No, uh, no. Uh, fuck off. One damn second here. Sorry for uh, holding up here. Copy. Go to. Let's see what we got here. No, that was. Oh, Cabs Hills did Astro Zombies. That one wasn't too bad. Um, like I said, I just don't know. Was it? Was that Odd Rage? Yes, that was Odd Rage. Just recorded this last night during practice. I want to get your feedback on my current mix template. Much much appreciated. Okay, great. Now that I know what the fuck I was looking at, okay. Turn the fucking snare down, then you can bring the whole mix up a little bit. Snare's just a little bit loud. Um, get a mic on the kick drum. That's probably going to help out a lot. Uh, once again, tune the kick as low as humanly possible. Like, seriously, let, it, let that fucking batter head off completely and then just finger tighten then half a crank around that's it front and back you want that as low as you possibly can go and if you need any uh, confirmation on that ask cameron webb he did like fucking the last six motorhead records me and him are definitely of the same school of thought when it start, comes to recording kick drums he says he's just got his head hanging there. yes the drummer will bitch but they don't count they're not human anyway let's uh move on here uh this is spawn shepherd with diaper obliteration great okay Parenthood can be challenging at times, so I started writing funny thrash songs about it. Where's, okay, I'm not playing a, a lyric video here. It's not happening, but let's let's take a listen to what we got here. Well, I am the drummer. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay, that explains a lot. That's why the snare drum's so fucking loud on rage. That gets some better fucking symbols. Like, go to a pawn shop and see if you can find some Zildigens or something that aren't B8. This actually sounds pretty good. See, this is why you, you know, get birth control. You don't have to fucking run into this problem. Why is he so fucking angry? Why? Because he didn't fucking pull out. Now he's paying the price. No, Bobby Uterus, I was just feeling the shit last night. So I'm just doing last night show tonight. Take care, humbucker. Thanks for dropping by. Kick and snare are really thin sounding. I want to hear more bottom end on them. Nice guitars, though. Definitely has that mixed by a guitar player sound. Yeah, the song is called Dirt, uh, Diaper Obliteration. Yes, the guitars are really great. The drums are very thin. Stop boosting the shit out of the top end on your drums. Yeah, here's the thing though. You know, uh, he's writing diaper obliteration now, and here's the thing: if that kid turns, you know, wait till 13 years, and that kid finally hears that, Dad, you're such a dork. Why would you write such a song like that? Ew, it's disgusting. That's what you're gonna have to deal with. So yeah, you, <laughs> dude, my guy says sounded like shit. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. So there we go, folks. So my advice there is, yeah, 
put them a little bit more bottom end and the drums, bring them up just a tiny bit. Uh, maybe no reverb on the guitars, so they're a little more in your face. It sounds like they're a little, a little back in the mix, unfortunately. So there's that. And buy some fucking condoms, you dumb shit! <laughs> Otherwise, that's going to be your future. <laughs> and nobody should have to deal with that shit, literally. Okay, moving the fuck on. The queue is open, so hey, send me a fucking song, and I'll be more than happy to play it for you. 10 will get you in the queue, uh, 35 will get you in the front of the queue, 50 will get you to the very, 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 very front of the queue, and uh, yeah, 150 will get to me to take my shirt off. 250 will get me to put it back on again. Still waiting for that to happen. Hopefully somebody will uh, bite at some point. Now, this is Shaded Lane. I don't know if we listened to this already or not. Right, this is okay. Hang on, didn't we listen to this? This is one the guy got mad about because I cut it, cut it, cut it off. Yes. Right, this is the one that dragged on and on and on and on. And I cut it short, and the guy got really mad about it. Sorry, dude. You know, it's like, hey, get to the point. You know, we've had a lot of great examples of fucking amazing songwriting tonight. Unfortunately, yours wasn't it, and we can improve, though, and that's the whole point of the show is to maybe give you a, a, a sober second voice so you can maybe take some useful advice and maybe make a better fucking song. Yeah. But, you know, you can you can choose to ignore that, too, as well, and stick to your artistic vision because apparently that's really working. All right, next up, we've got Whole Beings by Dawn and Section. Snares buried. Okay, definitely a live drum recording, but definitely needs a lot of work. Like, I'm curious what you used for drum mics on this. You know, we want cannons here, and they're definitely not getting that. This is definitely a case where sample augmentation would really help. Sounds like it's kind of like one mic on the drums kind of off. Yeah, it sounds like one 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 mic pulled about three feet away from the drums and kind of doing the whole kit. Hey, thanks, Sheldon. Thanks for coming out, Sheldon McDonald. Appreciate it. That's right, my Opic. So the first thing I'm going to recommend on this mix is, uh, you know, get the best drum mics you possibly can and try again. Like I said, the Lua 340s on toms are great. They're only 99 bucks. 57 on the snare, 99 bucks. Audix D6 on the kick will be about 250 and you want to get some halfway decent overheads as well. And there's a lot of good stuff here. Yes, I am banning the bots as soon as they pop up. They're Tony Barrett. Hey, Lily, thanks for coming out. Much appreciated. It's great seeing you in here. It's program drums using cult drums? Really? Wow. These are programmed. Now, I'm not going to shit all over cult drums, but all I can say is, yeah, maybe get Extinction Level Event instead. Might give it a bit more, um, a bit more boom. These are fucking programmed. These are probably the worst programmed drums I've ever heard. Oh my God. Well, I, it fooled me. I thought it was just a really bad drum recording. No, it's really bad program drums. Fuck. Wow. Wow. I think we hear that comment every week. Oh, I don't know about that nuclear beige. <laughs> 
What do you have against black and drum sounds? Well, considering I've done a couple of seminal black metal records, um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the, the sound on them. That's for sure. Uh, if you're wondering what, what I'm talking about, go listen to the first two Woods of e records. Those were mine. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that was Hollow Beings by Dawn and Section. Interesting track, guys. Um, I'd say, oh, all right, Atlas, thank you so much. You are in the queue. Okay, hopefully we can help out here. Uh, I do got to wrap up that $10 window here in a few minutes, but anyway, Not Much Better by Here Goes Nothing. Or the other way around, Here Goes Nothing with Not Much Better. I don't fucking, okay, it's Not Much Better. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, that sounds nice. That auto tune, yuck! Why is your singer humping a toaster? All right, gotta hit the wash and be right back. Nice mix, otherwise. Teach the guy how to fucking sing. Hot B-Sides of 2003. That's so fucking true. Wow. Yeah, this sounds great. Just fucking turn off the auto-tune. Yeah, who wants to get up and wear some black jeans with some white, uh, with some white belts? Did the band look like this? No. Uh, where's the fucking video? Damn it. Hold on. Hold on. That sounds cool, but that's... Okay. Uh, here goes nothing with not much better. Hang on a second here. My fucking video died here. I, I just wanted to show this. Give me one sec. Is that going to work? Let's see what happens here. Uh, yep. Three, two, one, and back in. Let's see if the video kicks in. And do we have anything? 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 Yeah, there we go. Did the band look like that? <laughs> anyway, sorry. Just uh, really did bring back some early 2000s memories. That's for sure. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, turn off the fucking auto tune. And you might have something there. Here's the great thing: you've got the tunes, like, vocals like tuned perfectly. Have the vocals come in and redo the vocals. And have them sing along to what you've already got. Um, he'll get some much better fucking. Um, he'll get some better, much better performances out of it, and then that fucking stuff. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I thought I was glad to go show you Courage My Love. Actually, I like Courage My Love. I saw them live. They fucking totally kicked ass. I saw them back, I don't know, 2012 or something like that. I remember, yeah, they had this little 90-pound pixie on drums. She's just, like, hitting, like, Thor, the hammer of the gods. And, like, I dragged every drummer I knew in the bar over to watch her. I'm like, see, you fucking pussies, this is how you fucking play drums. She was fucking great. That band blew, that band kicked my ass. I bought the CD that night. I was so impressed. Seriously. Yeah, uh, then apparently they went pop after that, which kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, next up, we've got our good buddy John Lynn, who's a regular here on the show. He's doing an acoustic cover of Like a Stone. So let's take a listen to what he's got here. Hey, Glenn, whatever happened to TJ? TJ quit the show a couple years ago. He wasn't happy with the way things were going, and you know he felt he'd be happier doing something else. So that's where that went. It's unfortunate, but it is what happened. Afternoon in a room full of emptiness by freeway. I confess I was lost in the pages of a book full of death. Reading how we'll die alone, I never get late to it. It's a cover, SoundCloud. Yeah, Infinity, I'd say try try a different drum pack. You've obviously got the MIDI already done. Try something else. Pray to the gods and the angels like a pagan to win me. Yeah, it does sound like you're struggling here vocally in a couple spots, but you're definitely hitting the fucking high notes. Really cool. Acoustic guitar, though, you know, um, if you've got a piezo, you can get a great effect on the acoustic. Uh, use a mic and pan it to one side and take the take the direct and put it on the other side. You get just get this massive tone. I don't know if I can illustrate this to you or not. Let me see if I can find some of my regale recordings. Hold on. I got just the thing I want you to check out here after this song's done. You're definitely hitting the high notes, dude. Damn. Yeah, this is John Litton. Nice lead tone, too. Maybe just a little too much reverb for my taste, but thats I know that's kind of your thing, John. Dawn I read Until the day was gone And I said in regret of all the things I've done for all that I blessed and all that I wronged in dreams until my death I will walk
Wow. Killer vocal performance, dude. Wow, that ending was fucking great. Nice job, John. Um, yeah, get to, yeah, I know you're asking about the guitar stuff there. Like I said, maybe a couple of the vocal parts could have been retracted a little bit. I like the fact that you didn't go for auto-tune. That was really nicely done in a lot of spots. It definitely was human. Okay, as for guitar thing, uh, here's a mix I did. This is going back about 20 years, I think, the, uh, almost 20 years. I think the, I did this somewhere around summer or fall of 2004 and um this is using that technique i'm talking about you know pzo one side acoustic or mic'd the other side check this this is before i discovered ssl bus compressors <laughs> it just gives a nice big wide guitar sound with minimal effort we met in halifax when i was 21 my life with Maggie had begun Her hair was silky brown Her cheeks were rosy red I loved her more with every single word she ever said Oh Maggie, why'd you lie And leave my heart here to die You swore I should really remix this one night Or love any other man but me Used a ribbon on the on the uh, on the fiddle. Yeah, this is one guitar take. I was happy then, so full of love and pride, much more than any other man. Yeah, I could use a little more compression on the vocal. It wasn't long before all the trouble soon began. Oh Maggie, why'd you lie and leave my heart here to die? You swore. Yeah, that's what I'd recommend for that track. There, you can get a bit wider sound going on. Yeah, one direct, one one mic, same guitar, same track, just pan them out. I would agree. A little, little need, <laughs> definitely needs a little more bass. Yeah, this is 20 years ago, D Murder. Yes, I would definitely agree. It's when I was still fucking paying attention to what was being said on Gear Sluts and getting all kinds of bad advice. Very good, Atomic Punk. Yes, this is a cover from a Newfoundland band. I'm only doing the stream because I get money for it. Yeah. I would agree. This might be a fun track to re redo at some point, 20 years later, yeah. Oh, oh, oh Maggie, why'd you lie? Leave my heart here to die. You swore you'd never leave or love any other man but me. Oh, oh, oh. Fresh the Sounds of 1888. That was a fun record to do. We had so many great players on that one. Uh, I, Kelly Hoppy from Big Sugar came out and played the harp on a bunch of tracks, too. It was fucking great. First three Woods of Epre mixed master by you knowing what you know now. Ah, uh, the first two. I only did the first two Woods of Epre things. I'm, I actually got a, actually, thanks for the reminder. I got to write earache in tomorrow and see if they'll let me uh, use uh, Meeting Place and Time for a video because I think that'd be fucking cool. Anyway, uh, next up, it's Up Original by Set Up by Marshall. Here we go, dude. Ooh, this is pretty good. Not going to show the video because it's not helping. Why'd it get quiet here?
Take care, dude, McGuy, bro. Say hi to Guy Man, dude. Oh, thank you, Florencia. Really appreciate it. Yeah, why does it get quiet here? I don't understand what's going on here. The bass tone's nice. This sacred principle that though the will of the majority is in all cases to prevail, the will to be rightful must be reasonable. That the majority possess their equal rights, which equal laws must protect. And to violate that would be oppression. To say that the thriftless, the lazy, the vicious, the incapable ought to have reward given to those who I don't know if we're on to if there's a, a membership link on iPhones or not it's to say what is not true cannot be true ah uh, yeah this kind of killed the vibe here level up. I'd say cut this part at least by into a quarter of what it, what it is right now of leveling down it's a blue cow. Uh, thanks, Beaver Fever. Not sure what to make of this one. Like it gets quiet there in the like when you get to the chorus and shit. Not sure what to what to do to help. The guitar sounds not bad, but it definitely sounds like you probably use ozone on that mix. And uh, you know, it'll help level things out quite a bit. Please, for the love of crumb, go get ozone. It's gonna help your masters. It really will. Uh, next up, we've got Hammerhorn with Mid Guardian Revelry. This has got forty six thousand views on it. Holy fuck! Let's see what we get here. Do we get a, we we got a video here. Do we have anything? Let's see. Let's see if it'll show up here. Oh, I thought there was somebody's butt for a minute here. Hold on a second. Uh, this is being a pain. Let me see if I can get this to come back up. For whatever reason, sometimes this kicks out. Let's see if I can get this to come back on. Come on. Let's see what we get. Anything? Anything? There we go. What the hell is this? Definitely a real drum set. I think this is the first heavy metal video I've ever seen juggling in. Definitely a thin snare. Please see my series, How to Record Heavy Drums, to get a fatter snare sound. Kick's not bad, but it needs more bottom end, too.
Snare could use just a tiny bit of reverb on it as well. Black Hat, you're in the queue, buddy. Okay, that's it for the $10 uh, tips. We're going to make the minimum 25 at this point so we can close this queue out. Put this back on here for a minute. That video is hilarious, guys. Stop staring at your fretboards. Hammer horde, yeah. Well, with a band name like that, I would expect something like this, I guess. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Is this... going on here oh okay this is the one where he sent me two versions right okay my bad hold on see this is this is why he don't send me two versions let's take another he wanted me to take a look at the other mix too so let's try mix two version here oh my god that second mix sounds so much better but this is a different song It's even a better video. Yeah, I like this one better. Well, it's louder, of course. Louder is always better, but... Well, actually, here's a good, a good idea of what we can do here. Let me turn the volume down so they're both apparent. Remember, guys, here, well, try this sometime. It sounds like it's a... Uh, let, me, let me pull this back a bit. And again, we're just going to take a listen. Now, that snare sounds really thin, right? And I'm going to bring back the second mix ever so slightly so we can, you know, compare them at, you know, relative volumes. Then we can actually hear what's really going on. Yeah, that still sounds a million times better. The second mix, Unholy Harbingers of War. Yeah, that snare sounds so much fatter. The guitars sound better, too. The band killed the first mix. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Get something great, and then they bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch till they get their way. Sometimes don't necessarily do it. It's more than the more than the snare. Thanks, real drums both times. Well, whatever you did the second time around, man, on the snare fucking worked. What was the difference? Because this mix sounds far superior. Did you throw the band out when you were mixing? That's what I usually do. It's like, guys, come back when I got something for you to comment on. PM 1000 Modified Input Channel. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the second mix is definitely superior, dude. So there's still a bit, tiny bit on the thin side, but it sounds all right. But what did you do differently to the to the snare um, on the first mix to the second mix there? I'm really curious, quad side guy. Solo can come up a bit here as well. Hey, Austin Zenor, you are up next, buddy. Hmm. All right, cool.
All right. Cool stuff, man. Thanks for sending that. It was kind of cool that we got a comparison there. Definitely uh, recommend mixing like how you did the second time around. So in this case, yeah, don't pay attention to what the band wants. All right. Next up we got, and that was, who the fuck was that? Who sent that? That was Austin Zenori. And thank you so much for that $50 tip. You just jumped the queue, buddy. You are number one. Thank you so much for making my evening. Uh, this is Chemical Annihilation with Contamination. Sounds spooky. Or sounds like you're from Flint. Ooh, this actually sounds pretty good. Video's hilarious, but yeah. Flint, Michigan, Braden Sharp. Got definitely a bit of an old school thrash vibe to it. Cool. Snares a touch on the loud side. Definitely sounds programmed as well. Well, maybe just a little too perfect. You know what I mean? Put a little bit of a uh, little bit of MIDI in, uh, MIDI humanization on that snare might help out a lot. Yeah, the rhythm guitar is fine. That sounds that sounds big. Nah, I don't have a problem with the guitar sound. I think the guitar sound works. Just a real snare would have been nice. And if it's a real snare, hey, you're a better drum recorder than I. Toms could come up just a little bit there. Snare is a little bit too too loud compared to the rest of the kit. Yeah, I really dig the guitar sound. Sitting here with the old That's definitely too loud. War. Offensive nuclear weapons. That can come down to DB or two, maybe even three. That both of us could threaten the other with the death, and the annihilation of millions and millions of each other's people. All right. 
right. Cool track, guys. Liked it. It was snappy. Wasn't overly long. Like I said, the snare was just a little bit too loud and a little too bit, bit too phony. Other than that, great stuff. All right, next up, we've got Drone with Snippet Master. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's only one minute, 14 seconds long. <laughs> could be, could, this could be a troll track. Let's see what we get here. Songs I'd short make me worry. Like the bass tone. Oh, this grooves. Nubs, what in the fuck are you talking about? Some things I said? What did I say? Too much reverb on that vocal. Okay. Okay, uh, that's all we got was just a snippet, apparently. Cool track. I would have loved to hear more of it. Uh, turn down the reverb, though. Okay, that's it. Uh, we've got one song left here. It's, I can't pronounce this at all. It's by Black Hat. Um, it's in a weird pronoun- fucking, I, I can't pronounce whatever the hell they're trying to say here. So let's give it a spin. Let's see what we get here. Symbols are too harsh. Definitely a gent song. There almost sounds like a Tom. I'm not sure what you got going on there. You might have overprocessed the drums here. I'm thinking maybe back off on the EQs on the drums, especially the cymbals. You don't need to be turning the treble up on there because they're really harsh to hear. I'm taking their wild guess here. There's no vocal. It's a cool riff. Would have been cool if there was a song here. Oh, those are definitely samples. <laughs> How do you fuck up samples? Simple, you put processing on them. Kids, babe, when you're we're using drum samples, don't put processing on them. That's really the best idea. Most of the stuff's mix ready right out of the box and you don't have to fuck with it. Yeah, the vocals are a little buried in this mix.
bass guitar could use some fucking brightness on it too. Some twang there, some attack, because it's really just really muffled and muddy, unfortunately. It's not a half bad mix though. It's pretty interesting. I like where you're going, but please, let's get a vocal on there at some point, you know, and maybe try writing a whole song. That'll be cool. Thank you for keeping it at the three and a half minutes, though, because, you know, they, because it was just repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And as Trey Xavier uh, so so correctly points out, riffs are not songs. Sorry, that's just the fucking truth of it, though. Cool fucking song. Does Glenn smoke? No. No, I don't. I smoked for I smoked cigarettes for 23 years, and I quit in 2008. And that's why I bought myself a U87. Uh, that was my present to myself for quitting smoking. My first really, really, really good mic. I'm so glad I quit. Uh, really, really glad I quit. And uh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't, don't do drugs of any kind. I rarely ever drink, in fact. Um, you know, the strongest stuff I drink is coffee. <laughs> That's about it. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, thanks so much for everybody coming out tonight. Uh, that was definitely a really fun stream. We definitely got to do this again. I'll probably do it again Sunday morning, so I'll be back for that. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, everything you guys have donated to the show just goes right back into the show. No, I haven't sold my U87 yet. I haven't put it up yet, but I think I'm going to uh, this this year. Um, anyway, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Thanks so much for watching the show. Uh, thanks for all your suggestions and all your donations and all that kind of stuff. That stuff goes right back in the show. Allows me to, you know, give people jobs, hire editors, that kind of stuff. And, uh, buy some cool guitars to review. And once again, I've, I think Tuesday, I've got my t Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. I've got my John Pertucci, uh, video coming out on the JP 100, uh, by Sterling from music man it's a fucking terrible guitar Petrucci should be embarrassed to have his fucking name on it I think it's terrible and it doesn't stay in tune in a really bad way it's quite possibly the worst guitar I've ever had on the show it's just fucking totally awful I know you guys are going to love the video it's going to be so much fun anyway thanks for watching subscribing all that good stuff I'm going to wrap it up I'm going to get up in the morning and fucking edit more video I just shot four viewers comments and that Petrucci video today so I got lots to edit and I'm also doing 30 videos in 30 days for the month of November a lot of stuff I shot in Europe last summer is finally going to be coming up including my uh, time I played guitar in a nuclear reactor. Make sure you don't miss that.